What's up, Crossroads? Uh, yeah, I'm still sore. The second day is always worse, but um, that has nothing to do with what I'm about to tell you. Because I, if I'm not mistaken, today is Wednesday. I don't know about you, are your days mixed up? My days get so mixed up when my schedule's not the same. My schedule's getting back to normal, but for you guys, I know it's still different. So anyway, today is Wednesday, or as some people say, hump day. Yeah, you can throw in your hump day if you want to. If you don't want to, I understand. I completely understand. That got annoying. But anyway, um, the the new study that we're doing, are you are you digging it? Is it making sense to you? If you got your shovel, are you digging into it? I absolutely love this one. And this morning's message, the stoop, stoop, that brought me to, to remembering when I read the book. And I remember laughing out loud when I read that because I, was, I could just imagine Ben Franklin going through that. In my mind, Ben Franklin's a little bit of a short guy, but I have no idea. I was really young when he was around. Um, but that whole thought of stooping, I think one of the hardest things for us to do is to find a, a good balance between being confident and being cocky. One of the things that, that I, working with the football team, I talk to them all the time about being a good representation of, of your family, of your school, but of Jesus. And I cannot stand the celebration stuff that people do in football. Now, you score a touchdown, you go to your team and all that, but, you know, when there's an interception and you run to the sideline so somebody can hand you a belt or put a chain around your neck or give you a sledgehammer, that stuff just, man, that, that just gets under my skin. And I remember watching it when it first started back in University of Miami was doing it. And they would throw the chain around their neck and then they'd all pose in front of the cameras and stuff. And that just, oh, that drives me crazy. I, I never liked trash talk. Uh, I've always thought, you know what? I will show you how good I can be instead of talking to you about it. And to this day, I struggle with boastful people. I will be the first to admit I have many, 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 many failures. I'm not good at much of anything. And I can't stand when somebody who is better than me in most things wants to point that out to you. Uh, my daddy told me years ago, if you're a smart person, you don't have to tell anybody how smart you are. And he also said, if you're a tough person, you don't have to tell people you're tough. Um, when you do what's right, you shouldn't boast about it. Uh, there, there's a picture floating around as a meme of someone, and they're, they've got a bag full of food, and they're handing it to homeless people, but they're taking a picture of themselves. And that's a haughty spirit. That's, that's a boastful notion and we were we read in the scripture one of the scripture references in proverbs 18 it says pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall one of the hardest things for us to do even as an adult is when you know you're good at doing something and not boasting about it the things that we do should be done to glorify god and in the midst of our anxiety, when we finally crawl out of that hole and we find that level ground that we're on and we start finding the successes that we have, the victories that we have, it's in our nature to want to brag to someone about it. But the last thing we need to do is brag about it. In a social media world where a lot of people find their value and how many likes they get, I was talking with some youth pastors yesterday, and one of the youth pastors, he said, you know, I'm so glad I didn't grow up in a generation where my confidence was built off of how many likes I have on a post. And I started thinking about that. I said, gosh, that's so true. I think it's in our nature to be curious if people want to accept what our thoughts are, if people like what we're doing, but at the same time, that can't define who we are. And as we're looking at this study, when you're facing that lion, when you're facing that adversity, and you find a way to defeat it, I, I need you to hear this. You're going to defeat it, but you're going to have to defeat it probably for the rest of your life. If there is something that, that nags at you, that grabs you from time to time, that pulls you away from the direction you should be going, it's not something you're going to defeat once and never have to deal with again bad habits. Once someone kicks a bad habit, that bad habit, because it's been part of their life, it's something that they still have to fight. And we're going to kind of address some of that in our study tonight. Uh, be sure at 6.30 you're tuned in. Tuned in? Do you tune in? You don't tune anything. That's before your time. Click the buttons and get into the YouTube channel and watch our study tonight. But today, the word I want to give you today is confidence or let me, let me say it. The thought I want to give you today is confidence, not arrogance. 
people are drawn to confident people, but they're they're pushed away by arrogance. Um, I don't need to hear that you can do amazing things. I need to see that you're an amazing person. When you have a victory and you talk about the steps you did to get out of it, that's awesome. But I'd really like to hear how God led you through that process. Everything that happens in our life gives us the opportunity to point back to what Christ is doing, where he has brought us, where he is leading us, and how we're depending on him. If we could depend strictly on ourselves, we're going to fall short most of the time. Crossroads, stay in the fight. Don't, don't get sidetracked. Um, continue the study. Uh, if you are interested in reading that book, I would encourage you to do that. Um, it is is a tremendous book. And just as Ben and I, you read about him going in and slaying this lion, it was someone else telling the story. Allow your legacy to be something that others talk about, not something that you bro you boast about, or you promote. Uh, let your actions do, your, do the speaking. Don't allow the good things in your life to get in your head to make you think that it's all about you because it's all about God. I'll see you tonight at 630 Crossroads. I love you.